Well, Aquaman 2 is just uh, six uh, months away and we uh, have no trailer for it. Five months away, still no trailer. Nothing. August are just uh, four months away. Oh, come on, Warner Brothers and DC. Give us something of this movie. Anything. Fucking finally. Mwah. I was beginning to think I would never get to wield you again, uh, Trizant. Uh, hey guys, uh, DC fans and Atlanteans everywhere, Harry Thomas here, and uh, this is the trailer review I have been waiting uh, forever to do. Longest wait for a trailer uh, in existence, am I right, sir? but we at long last have a visual idea of what Aquaman to the Lost Kingdom is going to be, and we have some footage to go on. We did get a uh, brief 20 second a teaser for uh, this uh, teaser four days ago, but this uh, is the full trailer review. After watching uh, this uh, trailer just an hour ago, it looks so awesome. Never underestimate James Wong. I uh, don't care that people walked out of uh, test screenings for this movie. I don't care it needed three reshoots and uh, delay after delay because I they uh, made sure to take their time with it. Don't you just love how they opened the Warner Brothers logo on an, a flowing iceberg? You know, first they coated it in pink for Barbie and now they're doing something uh, genius with it for Aquaman. And as you can see, uh, we hear Jason M Momoa's uh, Arthur Curry Aquaman narrate the trailer and how four years after the first movie, he's now married to Mera and they have a son together. And that's uh, his uh, father's lighthouse. You can also, uh, if you look extremely closely in the foreground, you can see Atlanta and Mera sitting down together. If you zoom in here, see... That is Mera for sure. The red hair is a dead giveaway. And then we uh, see uh, Arthur uh, holding uh, uh, his and Mera's son and uh, yeah, and he's asking uh, his dad uh, how it was for him raising Arthur. And uh, we, we look, I mean, it doesn't look like their son's going to get that much screen time because uh, he's too young to really do anything here. He's and it looks like Black Manta is going to be the main antagonist this time as he was just the secondary one in the first movie but this trailer makes him look like to be a far uh, more legit threat he's going to destroy everything Arthur loves and means business this time and in a devastating shot we see uh, Arthur and Atlanta in the background and even Mera if you look even closer of uh, Arthur's father's lighthouse being burnt to the ground but that gets me uh, theorising, is uh, Arthur's father going to be killed off in this movie? I mean, it certainly uh, lo looks like it. I mean, uh, though please let Mera live. Please. But that would be such a blow to Arthur if Black Manta uh, murdered uh, Arthur's father, just like Arthur, well, killed his father. A father for a father in Black Manta's eyes. And we get to, uh, well, look and and that Lana looks like she's going to uh, play way more involvement in this movie than she did in the first. Uh, thank you, because she is an amazing mother. Is it just me, or is Nicole Kidman still not aged a day? She is still glowing. And uh, also, uh, we uh, get, uh, well, lots of moments between uh, the uh, Atlanta's sons, uh, the brothers Arthur and Orm, or now uh, being uh, a reformed character. And I guess uh, him and Arthur go on the quest to discover, well, the titular Lost Kingdom, and it looks uh, temple-esque and jungle-esque, so is it underwater or is it on land? Uh, we'll wait and see. We're just like uh, Orm in the first movie, he had his formidable silver trison as his weapon, well, Black Manta is guessing his own glowing green black trisons to uh, up uh, his powers. And the underwater visuals uh, look uh, pretty rad and uh, cutting edge. Uh, 
yeah, this uh, is going to be DC's avatar, the, the way of war, so, uh, for, for sure. And to us Amber Heard fans uh, who uh, want to, uh, to uh, see her in this trailer, she is in it, in this uh, blink and you'll miss it moment of Mera bashing uh, what looks like Black Manta's submarine. Heck yes, uh, that's my Amber. And uh, this sequel already looks like it's going to be twice the stakes, uh, twice the scale, uh, twice the visuals. And twice the family uh, stuff and, and emotion. I wouldn't be surprised if this turns out to be my favourite DC movie uh, this uh, year and uh, should uh, well be uh, the most financially successful DC movie since the first Aquaman uh, five years ago. And that's the one DCU movie to surpass a billion dollars. So uh, can the Lost Kingdom uh, achieve uh, the same? So uh, yeah, uh, this trailer was exactly what I needed to uh, uh, lift my spirit because I was kind of having the blues uh, yesterday after, yeah, uh, failing to achieve my goal of, well, passing my third attempt of the theory driving test. It wasn't third time lucky like I was hoping. Yeah, it's harder than I thought and uh, yeah, but so I'm I'm over it now. Uh, I'll, yeah, I, I'm now uh, taking the break that I need and this trailer couldn't have come at a more perfect time. Uh, well, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this trailer review and what are your thoughts on uh, this uh, trailer is this your most anticipated movie of December uh, 2023 or are you m looking forward to other blockbusters more this Christmas please comment and let me know please like this video and subscribe please follow us on Instagram and I'll see you all next time and remember movies are us bye guys <laughs>